kind of on the outskirts of the storm where um, we actually get flow off Cuba. Cuba gets warm, gets in stable, and then that moves our way. Okay. Um, well, approximately, what was the highest uh, recorded wind speed that we had speed? the last couple um, of days? We had some wind gusts up near uh, 48 knots, so that's in the upper 50 miles an hour. Wow. Um, and they didn't have a lot of time either with this. And, and, then, and that's the, this is the biggest issue with storms that develop in this region, and it's it's a very typical thing that happens in October is you get these storms that spin up, um, you know, right in the Gulf of Mexico. There's just kind of like an area of low pressure that kind of stays stagnant there almost through the whole month. And sometimes it just spins the storm up. Yeah. Most southerly flow, um, and, then, and then on top of it, we're getting our, our seasonal king tide as well. So if you've got this king tide, so the best way we describe this is um, nu nuisance coastal flooding, somewhere in the three quarters of a foot to one foot range, um, which does lead to some seaweed overwash mm -hmm. on um, Atlantic Avenue and um, some sewage backup in terms of um, water flooding, um, 